Welcome to my channel. I'm pianist Yoon Kim. So today I want to share my experiences with alternative score uh, system <laughs> uh, that is other than paper music scores. So I experiment with iPad also with this device called Gavido that is Japanese brand um, that also opens up like a book like score both sides um, I thought it was brilliant when I first uh, encountered this device I mean as a disclaimer this is not sponsored in any way I just wanted to share what I ended up ultimately choosing for my chamber music concert so maybe you can have some idea what um, you know, professional musicians use their alternative score system. So let's get started. Please subscribe and please like button and turn on that notification button so you don't miss any other videos. So speaking of alternative scoring system, um, about two years ago, I decided that I don't want to have another pace turner nightmare disaster on stage. So oftentimes I meet those pace turners on the day of concert, often no rehearsal. They show up um, and they just accompany my concert, uh, actual, actual real concert. And more than not, they are... Um, turn pages too often, too slow, two pages at the same time, forget the repeats, a lot of disasters. I mean, I understand because also it's not like their job. They are sometimes students, there are just other musicians and, you know, they're just there for just like little side job, right? Um, but it wasn't acceptable for me. Like I prepare for that particular concert for uh, for months and months, and this page turner show up and, and almost ruining my music making. Uh, another thing was that they're often very nervous, so the nervous energy right next to me, so close to me. You know, I I, I mean to sum sum it up, I really didn't like to have a page turner. Um, you know, period. So I always try to find ways that, you know, four pages at the same time, there's an opportunity that I can turn, all things like that. But there's the times that it's actually impossible uh, with a page uh, scores not to have a page turner. Certain pieces just impossible. Um, like, as you, you know, you know, pianist using both hands at the same time and foot and there's no extra hand to turn, you know, and thanks to technology, there are um, different ways that, that I settled with as of now, so that I want to share with you. So I invested in this machine, it's called Gabido. When it first came out, I think it came out like two or three years ago, but I got this one like uh, a year and a half ago. Thought this is the solution. I think this is it. <laughs> you know, I was so excited about this because this one is like a machine, but you can open book like this and you can see the information. This is a left or right, you know, like you can probably can relate to this. For me, it's very, very important. The music is on the left side on the top or right side on the corner. Um, that information is also critical um, to learn the, the notes. So the fact that this device has that ability and uh, be able to connect with the foot pedal and can, can sync and turn pages uh, without me using my hand was brilliant. Um, although the price is very steep and uh, expensive, I thought that it's a professional investment and I had to I had to invest in it to find out this might be the solution of my chamber music concert. Um, solo concert, you know, you, you memorize it, you don't need a score, but a quintet, a trio, you know, duo with a, working with a violinist or cellist, you need that score with you. So I thought this was a solution uh, and I started to work on it. And uh, last year, 
I, while I was preparing this concert uh, for Schumann Quintet. Uh, brilliant piece, actually. I love that piece, by the way. Um, and I found the critical defect of this machine, which is uh, it froze. It froze in the middle of my practice without any particular reason. Um, I talked to the company and why that happens and they obviously had their ways about, you know, I'll try this and try that and, you know, it eventually works out like five minutes of fiddling around and it, it comes back to normal. But that was not acceptable. <laughs> Just one time that accident happens, I lost my all trust of this device bringing it to the stage. So. I already decided then like, oh man, that's so unfortunate. I so wish that this is the solution for my stage uh, scoring. But I still love the fact that this is a um, two page uh, uh, screen and also the fact that it's very much like um, Kindle, right? Like uh, easy on your eyes, um, black and white, like newspaper like. Um, so I still adore this device but not I don't trust them <laughs> so now I use iPad so iPad Pro so iPad Pro uh, is very much like will score um, size right so I really like that the fact that I can trust this machine that matters much and another thing I use uh, the app is for uh, called for score that's what I use um, and yeah, another thing with the Gavito is that when you uh, push a foot pedal to turn a page, it takes about one, two second and turn. Like a push a button and then one, two. For iPad, instant, instantaneously just turn, you know. So that's another little thing that I don't really love about Gavito. Um, obviously, iPad is the fact that it's only one page. There's no information the left, right. So um, that's the only thing that uh, I don't like about this. But um, at the war situation, which is a concert, I trust this machine. So I, I, I use this iPad for chamber music concerts now and it works. So how I use it actually start learning chamber music uh, repertoire with paper score, get still left and right information. And then at some point I introduce Gavito in my system, which is still left and right in electronic so I don't have to use my hand to turn. And then about a month prior to the concert, I bring iPad in, so only working with iPad. Uh, by that point, uh, even though it doesn't have a, uh, information of the left and right, since it's already ingrained in me, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, and I use the foot pedal uh, to sync with it, so that's how I use it. But one thing I use from Gavito is their foot pedal. I actually trust their foot pedal more than the, their actual device. It's I I actually have another foot pedals that uh, available in Amazon works fine, but I just like the sturdiness of this foot pedal, and um, that's what I use. So I on the concert I use iPad using Fourscore app, using Gavito foot pedal, and using this stand to put that and so I don't have to use uh, actual a score stand on the piano so it's uh, I can still hear the sound from the piano better without having the score rack uh, on piano so yeah that's for now I think that's my solution how I use it um, a lot of violinists or chamber music uh, group or guitarist I saw them using more and more iPads and I I think uh, you are also wondering how people using it and it's actually very convenient. Last year when I use iPad, uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> again another d d drama, right? Um, the foot pedal and iPad didn't, didn't sink in. That just didn't want to work. So uh, I had a 
heart attack. It was on stage actually, and what do I do? I, I iPad is the only thing I trained, and it doesn't work. Uh, but uh, I figured it out eventually during the concert. So um, the, the quintet members were talking to the audience, kind of earn some time. And I just like yes, give them more more time. Like I reset iPad frantically and resetting the foot pedal and everything. And eventually after five to seven minutes, it worked. Whew. Ever since then on my stage, uh, there's extra iPad, <laughs> extra pedal too. <laughs> That's what it takes having, not having pace turner with the paper score. I'm curious what your thought about this electronic score system if you use it and how do you like it or things like that so please share with us if you want to support me please go to patreon.com slash journey through classical piano uh, and please subscribe and i will see you next video bye